using Tom's uh, Model, Man, Model Man Tom, uh, Modeler's Brand, I used his LED tape to uh, get these guys done. There's hot spots, but it can't be helped because there's literally, you know, like a millimeter uh, clearance. So, that is what it is. I mean, we're not too, too worried about it. Uh, what else, what else? Um, I showed off uh, this earlier. The, uh, you know, get some shadow here. Uh, did the rear control panels. But now, we have a computer. And, um, I figured I'd try something interesting and I rode the light, the wires down to this little box here on the dash. Not really sure what that is. And, oh, oh, look at that. The CB and the other item finally have their power light. Um, this, this here will be taken care of. That's just some light spill. Not really a big deal. Um, I redid the dash. The, I didn't, didn't light the cluster, but it does have a white, uh, dashboard now. Or, instrument cluster. And everything else has been redone. i got to put the steering wheel back on. <coughs> As far as how it was done, I'm going to flip this over. <clears throat> Everything that comes on with the headlights and taillights is one circuit, so I'm using the red to signify that. So the uh, the roof bars are going to come on at the same time. It looks like all the flashers and what uh, the strobes and the flashers are going to be on their own circuit or circuits. Anyway, so I kind of had to hide some wiring. I think I showed this earlier, but I've made the addition of the extra circuit tied in the common ground, run right in here, and I've also you know simplified the wiring going into the engine compartment. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, some modifications. As far as the photo etch stuff goes, I put this um, uh, switch panel up. Uh, so I got a, I got some um, oh, I got some wire here for that. It is actually for beading and neck necklaces and whatnot. Um, I think I'm actually using this one for the proton pack, proton packs, um, and this is like, oh god, like 0.6 millimeters, 0.8 millimeter, so it's going to be through there, and it will also make another appearance when I do the wire loops here, and anywhere else I can think of. Um, I shaved down the top of this green box because we've got another photo etch part really hard to see it this just goes around the edge and we're also going to use this wire again to put the little hooks up um, and the red lights gonna go on the top so that's pretty much where we stand with that um, now we're really really starting to see some progress so this guy here I'm gonna turn this light off this is my prototype circuit for the uh, Ecto-1 roof flashers and uh, the couple strobe lights now there's a couple things I'd like to change, and what do I have for pointing to? Well, well let's use this. Uh, for these two here, this red one is going to be for the roof light, and this guy here is going to be in the bumper. I'm going to grind it down to a little rectangle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to change the resistors here to uh, separate their rate from the other two, which will be the uh, roof flashers. Sorry for all the uh, light spill there. Um, now, of course, I'm going to be adding many more, uh, many more LEDs to the roof flashers. But uh, to give you an example, sorry for the uh, excuse me, the bad lighting. So here's this guy. Uh, this is going. I'm going to test this out uh, the next day or so. Um, instead of putting uh, you know LEDs right across, I'm going to use these little. I'm going to integrate these little reflectors in. So I'm going to have I think uh, red, yellow, green, red, yellow, green. I'll probably just do the same both directions. Pardon me. And uh, you know these three on one strobe, and the other three on the other strobe. And I'm uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do reverse the rear one. 